Good morning, welcome back to Snow Vision. This is Shannon. We're out here hitting the water again. Today we're going to be trying a few different styles and colors of crankbaits. Mostly uh, shallow divers, four, uh, four to six feet. Uh, of course, this one just bank fishing. We ain't going to be doing too, too much of that uh, deep diving yet. All right, let's get to it. Let's uh, see what we can do today. All right, so first up, it's going to be our little yellow, orange, and uh, looks like we've got a gray pattern going down the going down the side. Uh, just something cheap I picked up. And uh, I don't know. I just like the color. I'm <laughs> At this spot, I was watching the little yellow and orange crankbait. Kind of looked like a little goldfish. So my personal tips for bank fishing. What's always what's worked for me this past year? Pack light. I always carry two poles. Not always. Not lie. Not always. Depends on what water I go to or where. So, as a matter of fact, we're gonna make it through these woods. There's a little path right here that we're gonna try to take. Anyway, back to it. Rod covers, pack light, carry necessities, carry a bottle of water. Necessities meaning just really carry the, the baits and lures that you that you want or that you the water that you're fishing for. I have three little tackle boxes that I have one for soft baits, soft baits creatures, one with crankbaits, hooks, split rings, swivel barrels. So, yeah, that just happened. Oh my God. All right, so fix these things. Pretty much, gonna have pretty much unspoiled. Oh, just ruined my freaking day. All right, so. I don't know what happened just now, but this is probably one of the worst ones I've had in a long time. Yeah, I'm just going to have to re-spool this one. Alright, well, that's that for that today. So I just showed you that I just got backlash pretty, pretty bad. Um, I cut it off. It was literally, I, I, I don't know what happened. Unless I tied it like an absolute awful knot. Like, it's the same knot I always tied it. It's an improved or a double clinch. It's never failed until now. Okay, so it's definitely not rod or reel's fault. Operator error. So <laughs> we'll chalk it up to that today. Kind of peeved about it. We're gonna toss around some uh, crankbaits. Like I said, we're still gonna do that. Second rod. Back to my tips. Always carry second rod. <laughs> this might happen. So, um, since this happened, I'm just upset. Sorry. So, uh, I'm on now. Still have my this beautiful Enigma rod. So, I, I really don't know what I want to do now. I'm, I'm still upset. Like, I'm, I'm legit upset about my freaking backlash. I don't know why first time well okay I can't say it's my first time that's happened oh when I first started with bait casters oh my god it was the worst I couldn't get it to get one five feet slamming it down I literally was about to give up but they're really not that hard maybe one day we'll talk about how I do things and it might work for you or it might be a foundation or a start of you know how you get into it so toss around these lures a little bit uh, kill some time and uh, we're gonna get back to the fam, so um, let's get to it. Catch on the flip side. And to be honest, this wind really sucks. All right, so I said I'm gonna try different colors of crankbaits today, and I got stuck just using this one. So we're definitely gonna try to tie on another one. 
your weights, baby. Alright, so, I really want to use this guy. Love this. I don't know why. So, I almost went with a double polymer on this for some reason just now. Uh, let's, let's hope it works. I don't know what I was thinking just now. We're on there, ready to go. Oh, I just noticed it's got a little shark juice chill. So, hopefully, I love the eyes. All right, let's come see this real quick. So we know this knot, like I was just crying about, do you think it's long enough or uh, strong enough? Literally pulled this log up. I thought I was gonna be stuck and had to cut them off, but it slowly started coming. But, yeah, I just broke the hook. Nope, looks fine. So, yeah, just pull that log up. So, well, that answered my question that if the knot was strong enough. So I found us a picnic table out here by the water. And hopefully we catch something today. If not, it'll just be another video of me just uh, waving a, a rod back and forth. Be a great song. Um, I don't know what else to do. Also, I know I'm throwing. Um, I know I'm throwing Guggen Squad crankbaits today, but at the same time, don't forget to check out Wicked Weights. <clears throat> Amazing quality Tuscan weights. 97% Tuscan, 3% nickel. Super sharp hooks. Uh, the the bladed hooks are weighted. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm just gonna throw a few times. Ouch. I really love the crawdad coloring on this one, so I wanna try him next. Ow. And this beautiful little guy here. Uh, I love the shimmering color of him. So I'm sure he'll attract fish. So we're definitely gonna try him today. Also have the yellow and black uh, square little shallow diver. Also, Guggen Squad, uh, love the eyes. <clears throat> I have some more crankbait somewhere, but definitely not trying to figure that out. Also, don't forget Guggen Squad. <clears throat> I love y'all stickers, by the way, and Wicked Ways, I love your stickers. Definitely promote them everywhere I go, so. So I'm not sure if it's operator error or whatnot. But I'm really starting to not like my braided line. I'm just gonna change the change the crankbait anyways. I'm not gonna blame the wind, but I'm gonna blame the wind. So I'm there pretty tight today. Beautiful coloring. Love his red eyes. Let's see what he got. So, I know this spot's not dead. I've just seen a fish break water in like a pretty good size pretty good sized bass is break water just now so I'm in a good spot just gotta find out what they want and what do they want we don't know yet so we've tried from sparkly to dark to everything in between I think maybe I need to get to the bottom and try a jig next come on turn mr. beautiful little crankbait I mean a uh, rattle trap <clears throat> I'm gonna jig it out. All right, I'm tired of fiddling around. The jig just always caught me stuff. This guy right here, green pumpkin. I got the bandito bait as a trailer on there. He has never failed me. Anyways, Junior's going out there. Let's go. I've exhausted my time here. Don't think I'm gonna catch anything. It's a quick difference, like you have this Beautiful, amazing. <laughs> God, look at that backlash. This rod here, 7.3 to 1. 7.3 to 1 uh, Valkyrie from Enigma. Both great, great, great reels. Uh, the rods as well, uh, they're both 7 foot, medium heavy, compatible with Carolina rigs, swim jigs, uh, swim jigs, jigs, spinner baits. Definitely Texas rigs and top water on all on both of them. 
so you can't beat it. I uh, love the handle on the, the loose. Um, I love the thickness and the diameter of the Enigma, the Phenom. But at the same time, like there is, the difference for both of them it, it's preference. That's really all it is when it comes down to fishing, overall fishing. It's just your preference and what you what you want out of it. So there's no such thing as good, bad. There's definitely ugly, uh, like this, like this backlash. That's freaking ugly. Today's just not been a good day. So I'd like to thank everybody for joining me today. I think we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, thank y'all for joining me and for watching me uh, play with my fishing rod. Uh, I've caught absolutely nothing. Tips of the day, especially when you're bank fishing. Uh, carry necessities. Carry light, pack light. Uh, comfortable backpack or satchel or whatever, like float your boat. And two rods. Other than that, I mean, there's really not much to it. It's pretty much common sense on what you want to carry. So, and what you're fishing for. Carry extra line just in case things like this happen. And I'm pretty much just carrying around dead weight now. So, oh, rod covers. Uh, definitely carry rod covers, especially if you're hiking trails, whatever, going through the woods. Uh, definitely helps. Uh, take your rods, your guides. Uh, for me, mostly the guides. None's broke yet, knock on wood. So, I mean, e easy, cheap fix, but at the same time, when you're out in the middle of nowhere, straight hassle. Again, thank you for joining me. Click like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'm trying to keep posting. Um, as of right now, it's kind of hard because bank fishing. Yeah. It's really, I think my career for this year is over. I appreciate you. All right, everybody, have a happy new year. Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. And keep your lines tight and your head up. See y'all next time. Bye.